please join me to give Yang Geling Lao a warm welcome. Now I'm talking about uh, uh, vision, um, pictures, and uh, words. I think uh, uh, as Chinese, the, the language is the most uh, uh, ancient way of uh, writing uh, because it's develop, uh, developed from pictures. You know, each word you can trace back all the way to uh, most of them to the uh, uh, cave paintings or in the, in the most ancient uh, forms. So we're lucky that we're in language development of the whole world, of all the nationalities. We are the, the most exceptional nation, people, the most exceptional uh, language. So actually, uh, you know, in our subconsciousness, we inherited uh, to understand each word with inherited uh, code to decipher our languages, uh, our language. So this is uh, why uh, in um, uh, Tang Dynasty, we almost all the, you know, when you read it, we read all these uh, 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 famous uh, poets, you, you can read it like a fen jing tou ju ben, you know. Um, uh, if I may speak Chinese, I can give you a lot of uh, examples. Yeah, you Go ahead. <laughs> Um, that we have this inheritance, we have this legacy in, in language. Each person, we have this pre-programmed uh, ability to uh, dis decipher the each, uh, you know, so this, this is a uh, trunk to the trunk look, how, res how much resemble, resembles of the Hu Dai the trunk. 甚至有个pagoda在上面,对吧?就很多的字,真的都是 pictures. Um, when I was uh, uh, studying for my um, uh, MFA degree in Chicago, uh, uh, in the, uh, Columbia College in Chicago, uh, teacher, our instructors, our professors always teach us uh, uh, and always reminds us to do, uh, do uh, you know, uh, uh, throughout our classes, anybody who cannot write down, you know, we have to write in in class, you know, and the instructor or professors will say, see it, see it, see what you're t t uh, writing, you know, open your mind's eye, you know, 打开你脑子里的眼睛, uh, show it, don't tell, you will tell to the story, but you show the story, show the character how they're doing, how they're moving, how they're coming inside the room, and then how they move out. So when you see it, it's much easier to, for you to carry on the story narration. So I think, the, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, there's other ways to teach uh, uh, the, the, the young people who are, uh, is, uh, you know, who are uh, interested in writing or to interested in becoming a writer. Uh, this, I think this way is 
uh, I got a lot of benefit from it, uh, listening to my professors. So then it connected with uh, our tradition, our language. You see it when you read Li Bai Du Fu, you know, Gan Shi Huang Jian Lei. You know, Taba, uh, uh, he uh, transformed the Gan Shi Hua Jian, you know, flash with the tears. You know, Han Bie Niao Jing Xing, right? This, this picture, how powerful. It's the it, external lies, uh, uh, poets suffering from homesick, from uh, uh, ref, refuge, refugeeing. Uh, in uh, Sichuan, you know. so these images of, we have this. You know, we're so lucky that we have this tradition. You know, when you uh, when you write um, uh, a picture, actually, it's not a real picture. It is an author's uh, um, exter externalized uh, uh, emotion. Yeah, the feeling. 感是花间泪，恨别鸟惊心。烽火连三月，家书抵万金。Right, then then it comes to the point. But it, without these two lines, then 家书抵万金 is is much less felt. Um, and、uh, so when I write, I tried to remember my. Professor's uh, instruction. I try to see it.、Uh, I close my own eyes and let my mind's eye open. I have to see it in order to write it with imagery, with the metaphor. You know all these things.、Uh, it's so important. And, and now I, I,、uh, I, once I. Actually, had a class in Fudan University. I told them the same thing: you have to have images. You know, some images stay with you, to grow with you, to become、um, symbol, become symbolized part of you. Uh, uh, for example, when I was uh, uh, six, seven, seven years old.、Um, The Cultural Revolution uh, uh, broke out,、um, and one of my dearest uh, ah yi, uh, ah yi uh, the, is Yan Fengying. I think you know this、uh, very famous Wang Meixi star.、Um, and when she was committing so suicide, and all of us children rushed to see,、uh, you know, so we, that's the first、uh, idea. Uh, what is self-killing into our ch uh, uh, us children's minds? So we rushed over and to see her. She was taking. She was already swallowed a lots of uh, 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 poison. Then she started to to shrink,、uh, to shrink and become very very small. In in、uh, embraced by her husband. And, uh, and then she, she was,、uh, you know, have, have, she was having spasms and started to shrink. And then in my mind, many many years later, she seems seems to shrink into a cocoon, ah, 蚕茧一个一颗茧，像一颗茧。它的外面的恐怖和对于死亡的那种恐怖，使他一一直缩短的，他就像一颗茧子，在我的 memory 里面。That's the first image of suicide. Then later on, I, I, the suicide becomes such a, you know, pastime for us children. And we heard that a, a, a couple of old people. Old couple jumped off of, uh, uh, um, uh, a high building, so we rushed over to see it. But the the the, the bodies are already carried away, and there were two holes made from the jumping, very deep holes. Then the but the bodies are already removed, and later on we found in the in the、uh, twilight uh, uh, there were.、Uh, 
translucent, beautiful, colorful uh, candy sheets started to flying down. And as they fly in the twilight, they look like the butterflies. Then th this is the second image of a suicide and, uh, uh, and uh, love. Because uh, one must uh, accompany the, the other committed this suicide. It couldn't be that the two of them uh, both uh, are uh, con condemned. So, and uh, how much uh, you know, uh, candies they had eaten uh, on the building top, and uh, during on the long course of uh, sucking um, uh, candies, uh, and what did, what were they talking? They were talking about their life together. They were talking about you know what I. It, it made me wonder, and then after they jump, and there were so many. Uh, day after day, that when there is a breeze, the candy sheets start to fly down. So it is a contemporary a butterfly, butterfly lover story for me. It's love, it's a suicide, it's going beyond the life uh, um, together. And so I think that these images, it's a cocoon and butterflies, when I was seven years old, eight years old, it become uh, symbols of uh, 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 life, death, love. Um, uh, it's, it, it is not a, a fright, I felt, but the beauty of it. So when I write, uh, when I wrote uh, uh, Tian Yu, I gave this beautiful young girl who was uh, bullied and uh, and um, uh, raped, and uh, uh, I gave her death. I think it's beautiful to have uh, someone who cares about her, who really loves her, who was in pain for her sufferings. The, he has, has the right to take her invitation to kill her. So I, all these uh, images, the, the beautiful Huang Meixi star died in her husband's uh, embrace as a cocoon, and uh, the two old lovers jumping building together, and uh, transformed into these uh, beautiful uh, images of butterflies. So then when I wrote to uh, Tian Yu, I said, you know, when I really had trouble how to finish this story, this, uh, this young woman was uh, so trashed by uh, all these uh, cartridges. Uh, 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 um. Then can she just go back as one of these escapers to the city and to live like a, a crippled and, and to forget all her body, which is so trash. And I think this is not the ending I want to give to her. I want to give her a beautiful ending, which is she looks at Lao Jing, uh, the Tibetan herd man. And also the Lao Jing Deng Yi Deng. Then she started to braid her hair. And uh, you know, who do you care? You're going to die, uh, you, you're going to you know, be, be shot. But the, she was like uh, taking a picture, a final picture of herself. Then she started to, 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 to tie her uh, scarf and to braid her hair. And then she looked at Lao Jing with a, a smile. Lao Jing immediately see this invitation, in, inviting him to end her life. So I think then Lao Jing gave, her, gave himself a, sh, a, a shot. Then they become butterfly lovers together. So different, the couple from very different uh, background.
but then the people uh, uh, asked when the, uh, the movie was out, and, uh, and I was touring uh, in the cities for Joan, because Joan was uh, very pregnant back then. So I had to answer all these uh, uh, media, so audiences, the questions. I, and they said, wow, I thought he was going to shoot his toe, her toe. I said, yeah, and leave, leave a crippled the young woman and going back to the city. You know, so I, the life in this point is less important. Well, less, you know, much less important than dignity. And without dignity, it's an ugly life. Who wants an ugly life? So this is my childhood stories, the childhood memories of these images. So we're talking about images, right? So these images help helped me um, when I write, and when I write uh, the script. Yes, I wrote the script. And Joan was so nice, uh, Chen Chong, and she didn't change a word. When Lao Jing, you know, Lao Jing is a Tibetan guy, Tibetan uh, 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 stage drama, Nan Yan Yan, which is Shanghai, Xiju Shiyan's Biesheng, and he is a Xi'an Hwaju Tuan's actor. Lop San. Lop San, yeah. And uh, he had trouble just to say this line. And he said, uh, uh, the, the, uh, when, when she, when she uh, said uh, he was enraged, he said, you are selling yourself. You're he couldn't just say, 你在卖, 他老要说, 你是个卖货的, 我, 后来, 我说, John said, no, he has to uh, you know, say this, the, the correct line. So he, John was not even uh, willing to change, just uh, you know, uh, compromise a few words. So I think this, uh, the director you know, respects uh, the, 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 the author and uh, uh, screenplay writer to this point, I, I'm really happy, so, still very happy uh, to work with her. Um, the, you know, sometimes when, when I wrote the script and uh, when I watched the movie, I would ask the, the director, where are my lines? You know, these lines are not just, you know, uh, mindlessly put there. You know, every line I, I thought about uh, for a long time. Right? And, and, uh, and the, the most kehen just... <laughs> 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 some of the stars will bring their own uh, script, script writers. You know, these, uh, these people change whatever they want to say, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's a very... It, there is no director who respects uh, me as a, a screenplay writer to this. In, you know, level. Mm, that's why still I talk to the uh, uh, media, to to uh, um, uh, uh, journalists, uh, uh, saying that I I still love King most. Yeah, even though uh, that was uh, John Chen's uh, uh, debut work, the first movie, and later on afterwards, I uh, I uh, uh, cooperated. I wrote the script. Of Chen Tai Ga Ge for um, for Zhang Yimou, you know, all these bigger directors. My Feng Xiaogang is much better. <laughs> My Feng Xiaogang is... Mm, uh, generally, or basically, let me write, and, and they didn't give me uh, structures. You know, with these big directors, they have a team, a whole team of them. And we will sit uh, around a table and uh, You know, I, I think why they are chuan? Because uh, they already cut off from real life. They've been 
you know, propped up, 就是架起来了，都架在那里。他们也 ，you know, once a artist is cut off from real life, from they lost the way of express, expressing general, the common people's feelings. You know, they don't know how they carry their anger. They, they're, you know, when they, in, they're in love. You know, why they, these people, you know, uh, uh, including uh, uh, Jin Ling Shi San Chai, you, you, there's a love scene, right? The American uh, uh, fake uh, uh, priest um, kind of. A Fell in love with uh, uh, Yu Mo, the the yeah, the, the most uh, leading uh, prostitutes. Um, but you don't, you can't feel the the chemistry playing. You know, no chemistry to, between the two of them. And you you don't, you cannot imagine how they were in love, how they are making love, right? So this is. A, you once you are you can't you can't fake any feeling because you don't really see how people express them, themselves. Um, okay, so um, uh, from very beginning, and uh, uh, you uh, I have I I'm talking uh, to. Uh, to you was a, a proof uh, uh, of my last book that was published in China, uh, called the Xixing the Cao Di. Before, uh, right before I went to the U.S., um, that book is full of metaphors and imageries. Now, but but back then, I wasn't skilled. I wasn't consciously right. Um, with all the, all my, um, uh, how to say the, my mind, my mind's eye open. But uh, when I was in school, I was uh, trained this way. Then now I can just go to that state. Um, okay, I can see it. I'll see it, and I will put down on my, uh, uh, in my computer the lines uh, according to my. The images in my mind, I can see this character, and you know, even with so close up pictures, his his uh, you know paws, his uh, his uh, hair, you know. So so this is uh, from uh, uh, we are talking. We were a lot far from uh, the beginning of it, you you know. So. When we are born, this kind of people, you know, as Chinese, we have this beautiful writing, beautiful way of uh, projecting pictures and hide our the pictures into our words. Why not just develop it? And so I think you, most of you like writing. Um, you can try my method, you might be benefited from it. Um, and so, Milati, uh, and uh, why these directors uh, like my writings? Because they can see how these, the, their, their characters can be carried out by their actions, how they act, how they move, how they uh, talk. So, then they think this novel has uh, so much uh, elements for movies, for uh, uh, transforming into movies. Actually, they are wrong because uh, in Fu Sang, there were so many images. Um, it started out from an image. Uh, you know, I, it's like a one person looking at another uh, uh, woman, one woman looking at a, Another woman in very close, in a very short distance, and the the one talking, asking Fu Sang, the the female lead, turning, 
Yes, your face, your all the images, full of images. But they think this is easy to make a movie. But they, later on, they, they find uh, they are taken. <laughs> they are taken in, right? It's very difficult because all these images are abstract. They are not really for you to to directly become uh, the the film the uh, uh, job. 工作脚本, 呃, 呃, you know, the most uh, uh, possible uh, uh, film material for them is Fusang. But so far, for almost 30 years, nobody is able to really write a, write a script according to Fusang. Yeah, now they are uh, in uh, in New York. Uh, there is a team uh, making it into music musical. But this is more close because there were lots of uh, abstract uh, things they can use. But now in, the, in movie, everything has to be precise. If anything too abstracted, the images are useless for directors, right? Okay, so. Uh, in writing Miladi, yeah, if you can read this book, you can see all these characters um, to sh uh, showing their characters, showing their personalities through their actions and the, how they think, how they act, how they talk. And all these things will be taken into and uh, after uh, 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 a guy who is uh, interested in, in making a TV series uh, about the uh, uh, 80s, uh, um, after he read this, uh, he said, oh, this is uh, so good that we can make a very good TV series. Then I said, oh, no. <laughs> you, you know, then when you make, really write, uh, uh, adapted it, uh, adapted from this novel, you will find it's very difficult because lots of things are not concrete. Not a specific, they are rather abstract. Yeah. Okay, so I rather leave some time uh, uh, for the audience. Uh, I want to know what you want to know about me and about my writing. Um, That's okay. probably I ask the first question. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a novelist and also a screenwriter, how do you feel like? Uh, which one you more like into, like uh, identify yourself, and what's what's the most hard part to be? Because you you more talked about the screenwriting, mm -hmm. so the most hard you say is like images, abstract images. The one word I can think of in Chinese is yijing, right? Mm. Yijing is more abstract. Yixiang, Yixiang yeah. Yixiang is, mm -hmm. is more abstract. It's very hard to into very precise images. Mm. So do you feel this is the hardest part of, you know, like the dialogues, all those things? Um, to write a script, actually the most hard part is to work with the directors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to really suppress your own uh, opinions and uh, sense of beauty and to compromise to his vision of this movie. You know, all the directors have different versions about uh, how to adapt the same piece of literature work into movies. You know, when Zhong Chen uh, uh, was reading my Bai uh, Shu, uh, the, uh, the novella, and she likes to see this woman, and, uh, this dancer, through all these uh, uh, seams or you know gaps, you know, to just like a Kui Shi, you know. And uh, in uh, Jinling Shi Chai, she also she wants to 
uh, see this, these, these uh, pr uh, prostitution, prostitutes, these girls uh, through students' eyes, you know, they uh, peeping out and uh, and see how they react, uh, how they move, and uh, they say, 他讲下一句话说<笑><笑> 他们一个同一个小说，他们会将来会拍出完全不同的两个电影，所以就非常有意思。你这是最hard最难的 part，你怎么样？Work with this director who has his own vision of the uh, the film. Yeah. So I take some. Oh, there's so many hands. Okay, go ahead. Yeah.李老师你好。你好。我就很早就想问你了。嗯。Talking about opening uh, eyes of the mind, and uh, I, uh, what I, my understanding is a visualized story. Uh -huh. And uh, talking about visualized story, how could you um, generate a story that far away from your own experience? Because um, I'm writing something as well, and I think it's, it's very easy because if I have the same feelings, sensations, uh, emotions, but if I don't, um, even the far away from my own experience or second hand or even third hand experience. Um, like it's totally a new world. Uh, talking about your work, it's uh, Jingling Shishan Chai. It's not even in your time. And uh, I heard that Ma Ge Shi Zuo Chan, Macau City, you went to Macau to really go to the- Gambling <laughs> table, gambling. yeah. And yeah, I just want to know that when you visualize the story, you generate a story, how could you generate it if it's so far away from your own experience or even second or third hand experience? And how could you get yourself into it and visualize it open the mind of your eyes? Well, you better go there to live. For a while, yes, I, 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 I have done this. We went to Japan, you know, four of us. We hired a, a, yeah, a, a translator, Japanese. We went to that uh, uh, the exact uh, village. We stayed there for a few days. Then, you know, what I got the image from this trip is the old uh, innkeeper, is uh, uh, the old lady, and she still carries herself as a, 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 a traditional like, ch Japanese way. She goes anywhere with her back leading the way, okay? So she puts down the food and then she goes out like that, you know? So you see a Japanese woman, you always see their backs, you know, they're doing this, uh, mopping the floor, and they carry things, and they, if you are, put, uh, uh, if you are a, a cinematographer, you, you picture, then you will see her moving out, moving in, you know, her back is such image, you know, then immediately, I can smell that uh, the, 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 the story. You know, I cannot, I heard that story for 20 years, but I cannot begin writing because I can't smell it. I can, it's just a, such a fine, very fine visual uh, 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 vision that it's like a, it's like a smell. It's, it's gone, you know, uh, in the next second. So you have to grab it really fast. So that image made me decide, now I have it. So I wrote Xiao Yi Duo He. Duo He is a, is a, a, a Japanese woman. And also, uh, we, when we were doing uh, making Fu Sang as a movie, uh, in preparation, we have this Japanese producer. Oh God, he was so, she was so stubborn. So I know the stubbornness, <laughs> yeah, uh, is uh, uh, one of their uh, uh, very strong characters, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes, uh, for, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Di Jiu for I went there, I lived with the family uh, in the, you know, half buried underground, uh, that Yao Dong, you know, cave house, uh, for for few weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead, please. So the question is about uh, the criminal um, Lu Yan Shi, Lu Fan Yan Shi. So um, this is one of her favorite uh, uh, lover, <laughs> and uh, she asked about uh, how uh, Yang Geming write these uh, like great pictures of the lover. It's uh, more like uh, not like a female writer's <laughs> work. Uh, that's her opinion, and uh, she asked uh, that if there's some family background of this uh, writing. Yeah. Uh, I was fortunately uh, uh, to have, a, uh, uh, how to say, um, a, not a step grandfather, yeah, who was sentenced to uh, a life sentence, but then later on he got uh, 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 amnesty. Yeah, um, he was. Uh, uh, doing labor in a labor camp in in uh, Qinghai area, and he told me all, all these uh, uh, prisoners' life, uh, and he even wrote uh, um, uh, like this uh, 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 so many pages for me, uh, and he also recorded uh, uh, the, the uh, his voice, uh, the, telling me stories, and. Uh, Back then, he was just released when my father and uh, his daughter got married. So um, um, then he he knew that I just began to write. He started to tell me stories, and because he thinks nobody cares <laughs> in the family, so he told me the stories, and. Uh, the story actually, I combined these two grandpas into one. Uh, the first part is from my own uh, 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 grandpa's experience, uh, told by my aunt. So I combined them two into one uh, because both of my grandpas are are uh, intellectuals. Yeah. Anyone? Okay, go ahead, that gentleman. Uh, hi, Taylor and Hong. I've got to ask two questions, please be quiet. Uh, first one, very practical. Do you have any plan writing a script here? <laughs> uh, yeah, if uh, the opportunity shows itself. <laughs> because practically, what can we get from the market right now? We have huge talent that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. that Young, yeah, rather younger film actors, uh, filmmakers from mainland, mm -hmm. the language, who's uh, into the security industry, from you and that sort. The best we can get is uh, directors in their late 30s or early 40s, mm -hmm. talk about the usually these great or here or young. Like, mm -hmm. don't tell her that I'm a lead back for Tina. Mm -hmm. But still, we need more. Yeah. And we need more Manila authentic Chinese story. Okay. Authentic Chinese stories. Yeah. So Uncensored so. Chinese stories. Yeah. Yeah, I'm willing to. Yes. Yes. By all, all means. Dogong 
，因为因为我看你前两天那个发布会里报道的是，是当时想到的是吴女孩先生在《野火》里面有谈到的，八十年代的那个解禁时期的怎么出版很困难，那个东西一下我就想到那个，嗯，然后我不知道是怎么提这个问题，但是能不能谈一下吴女孩先生？So it's more about uh, population freedom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you know now it, with the new technologies, oh, we it's it's much easier for uh, an author to get published, and uh, and also to make movies. Uh, the traditional. Uh, Guanying, you know, the, the watching movie and making movie, the way of uh, making it and watching it all changed. And a, a big part, partly because of this uh, pandemic, right? So the many big theaters are closed down. Um, uh, people like to to enjoy their little home theaters or something, you know. So I think from now on, well, I'm very excited. Actually, you know, if we can, uh, I do like young directors um, because I used to be a. I was uh, uh, one of the judges for the first. The, the, the film festival is called the first. That's the only film festival uh, that's not, there's no censorship for it. Yeah. Mm, it's uh, uh, it's uh, held in, uh, uh, in Xining. And I met a bunch of young directors who are very, very, very talented. Yeah. So we, I kept in, in touch with them. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, actually I have a question. Um, the reality of uh, China, especially during the COVID-19, three years uh, isolation, provide uh, abundance and unbelievable materials for every writer in the world to write. So especially um, your contemporary peer, uh, female writer from Hong Kong, mm -hmm. who just write the novel of her own experience in what happened in Wuhan, and the novel and the journal, not novel, and not fiction, but non fiction, um, daily journal. You mean the diary of Wuhan diary? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, uh, everyone's reading it, but it was very literally, and she was silenced by, you know. So my question is, uh, do you have any interest, or do you have any plan to you know, have inspiration, uh, inspiring storylines of what happened in mm -hmm. the reality of China, and do you want to write a true story, or? I do, I do. I'm preparing myself. Yeah. I'm still doing the, yeah. Great. Sorry. So the question, yeah, the question is more about, uh, it's, um, Gerling has um, planned for um, writing something about what happened over the past three years of uh, COVID-19. So you've already got the answer. Yes, she's <laughs> planning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I want to make a, a play. I want to make a movie. Mm -hmm. And I've already completed a short story mm -hmm. um, of this period. Uh, uh, so. This is a lot of people's life, lives as a price paid to give us writers such a good, you know, good stories. Good, you know, this is a such a valuable and precious material for writers in exchange for all these people who died. We have to write. Otherwise, uh, we can't fail. Yeah. So yesterday, the Milan Pendrel passed away. When he left China, 
is stock writing in Japanese, started writing from French, and his stock writing something only about Japan, more about uh, France and the human conditions in general. So you all, in most of your work are in Chinese, but well, you also have some work in English. So how do you find yourself in between the two languages, the English and Chinese? And what's your experience in China when you spend so many time, so many years with, and also you now the experience in Western world? So do you find struggle here, and how do you, do you put yourself in the two different uh, living experiences and the languages? uh,那我自己翻译的就是作为,不是作为一个意大利名,呃,就是石头会在两种语言,两种不同的经验之间会感觉到一种,呃,一种,就且,呃,就是,呃,昨天你来说来去是在他离开结合说法的之后,他就没
Dini is sometimes try to present the uh, patriotic fortitude and also to present uh, his, uh, uh, some uh, the drama, drama, the dramatic characters unusual uh, you know, relationship between you know like in uh, the relationship between a uh, daughter-in-law and a father, right? So the chief has some kind of sensation of the how do you respond to this kind of uh, How do you respond to this kind of criticism? Criticism, so the sen sen sensual sensation. Sensation. Uh, try to achieve some kind of a sensationalism, mm -hmm. like digging out some very, very uh, dramatic story mm -hmm. plots. And very, very maybe subtle. Shanti. Devil. <laughs> Shanti. Okay. Sensational is Shanti. No. I have Shanti. People say my books are in the <laughs> you can say like uh, 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 Okay. Uh, well, when we, when I uh, was reading this uh, in Beida, and uh, there were two guys sitting in the audience, uh, told me that they heard the same story. But they heard so they, they knew this story. Some happened in Shanxi, some happened somewhere else during the uh, land reform. Okay? So they, they also know this kind of story. So this is not a very, uh, uh, just the, back then, uh, the landlord are hiding away from being killed. It, it happens. So when I have a good story, why not? I don't tell it. Yeah. So yeah, it's a drama, right? <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> yes. So okay. when you have a story, you you tell the way of de-dramatizing. De-dramatizing is important. So I I treated the, uh, the sensational or dram dramatic story with the de-dramatizing. Way. Okay, that boy. Go ahead. When I read Spanish, I I found reading a character more like very realistic character is very easy. And one time I when I traveled with my dad, it seems to turn out a little bit hard because I think like I don't really like belong to that world. I mean, I can really make it realistic, so is, is there any test to get in sort of the characters from? Well? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid someone make the characters realistic, feel, feel real. Feel real. Oh, well, you have to observe how real people talk and uh, behave, how they walk, then try to describe what you observed, OK? Do you make notes sometimes, right? Okay, so. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, actually, I really love a book uh, called uh, uh, Since the Dongyuan. Since <laughs> and I think that's a one, most wonderful book about uh, animals, like uh, uh, cats and dogs. And uh, I want to know what the background about this uh, book, because it's different to other novels. They are more like the real stories in our life. Because during the uh, pandemic, my neighbors start to you know, have dogs, and even myself. I feel that book sometimes made me you know, with tears. So, and also, uh, do you have plan to write more stories like this, more close to our real life? Yes. So this question is about uh, she recently read um, the novel Suits, the Dong Wu Yuan. Yeah. She felt quite related to it, and she asked uh, Gerning Lao Shi if she has uh, plans to write uh, more similar uh, novels. Oh, this is not novel. These are all real, real. Uh, uh, my ex uh, real experiences. So it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, how to say it's. 
It's a reportage, 报告文学 You know, so it's the 纪实的，不是虚构的 You know, the rest of my uh, uh, literary works are uh, fictionalized, 虚构的 Yeah, so um, uh, I have uh, a collections of uh, um, of the Sanwen, 还有杂记。嗯，呃，是呃，非洲杂记，就是 How I lived, uh, uh, with my husband, uh, in 非洲 in Nigeria. So these、uh, stories are, uh, from uh, my real experience. Okay. Yes. Okay. That that gentleman first, and then you. Okay. Can you speak a little bit louder? Uh, thank you so much for the talk, and I find uh, uh, your work in Kansas a very unique feminist critique and feminist perspective. But I also feel like that、uh, many of your adapted films were filmed by middle-aged male directors, and I think their cutting perspectives, their visual language in their work, as well as their、uh, entry point, very.、Uh, So what do you think of this? Do you think it's,、uh, it's kind of a catastrophe for your balanced、um, narrative? Yeah, that's very much.、Hmm. So it's the、uh, male, you know, male directors、uh, direct most of her.、Uh, so so do you think this also something that you want to challenge the gender issues? But in the past, you know, the film talking about the. 男性导中年男性导演来指导的，然后他们的很多的视觉呃,呃呈现跟他们的叙事语言都有很强大的这个男性 male gaze 这个男性凝视的意意味在，比如像像《金十三钗》跟那个《刀法》的那些作品，包括呃《小偷》和《安静》等作品。对，然后你是表现的这样子一种男性视角的改变，这对于呃最初原本的这个女性视角的这种叙事，是不是一种啊？呃灾难似的。So how the male gaze、uh, directing of the,、uh, her adaptation works、uh, affect her original、uh, work? Say that what you mean?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems very、uh, interesting question.、Um, yes, um, I have uh, uh, co. Uh, cooperated with John Chen and Li Shaohong. Yes, they are more、uh, subtle, you know. Yeah, and uh, the uh, none of none of、uh, these two、uh, female directors are, you know, very conscious of、uh, fem feminine, fem uh, fem uh, yeah. Feminine, uh, 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 you know, 女性主义 How to say? Feminism. No.、Yeah. Um, but、uh, yeah, the um, but it, and also as、uh, people com com comment on Mei Lanfang's uh, uh, stage lives, they said、uh, men can appreciate women.、Uh, Better than women themselves. <laughs> the, that's why Mei Lanfang project her view of a beautiful lady.、Uh, that's why she, he was so successful. You know, so it's a very different uh, uh, view of perspectives to to,、uh, to to see this kind of matters.、Um. That yeah, the gentleman. Yes. Thank you for your very professional、uh, introductions and for your very rich writing experience. I have published some short stories in English and in Portuguese.、Uh, uh, my question is、um, about structuring a novel or a longer piece. How do you carry that out and in your daily life? And do you write a writing plan? In terms of structure, and how do you fill in different chapters and things move along? Thank you. So it's all more about how do you write a novel, especially a long <laughs> novel, and、uh, do you outline? Do you make any outline or?、Um... 
you know, mm -hmm. what the structure is of the whole work, right? Um, I think uh, uh, the first line is very important. I sometimes I just put the first line there, then I think today is the big day. Is <laughs> you know, it's already some great uh, literature work uh, uh, launched. So it's, so I uh, spent time. Uh, and reading, I spent long time reading all the great novels of first line. Then I will come up with the first line. It's very funny that I never change the first line. Uh, I might uh, add a, 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 a chapter or half chapter before that, but uh, the first line is very important. I think that if, if the first line hides all the possibilities of the next line and next, next line. Just like a, a painter to put this, you know, first strokes of color on this and uh, something is growing here, you know. So I don't have an outline, I don't have a structure. I sometimes I'll make notes. Uh, uh, I, when I know uh, how these uh, uh, characters will, um, Develop, but you do have images. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's how the first night right. comes. Right. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, I'm so lucky to have a chance to uh, see you. Um, I think it's probably confidence for me to just speak in my own language. Uh, uh, is all the story related to your life experience or when you family, when you write? Because according you said. Uh, um, Chinese is so beautiful language. It's really difficult to uh, somehow translate the English. Uh, so that's in this case, I try to educate my son um, from the image or some how to uh, writing uh, use your image. How to, so probably from you can give us some suggestion according to your uh, experience because. Uh, uh, it's difficult to, I can use my own language to tell him how to exactly. it. But when I try to use it, it's so cool for my English to uh, explain how the free writing, brainstorming, but the, uh, can you give me just uh, any suggestions? So is that your question is more about for a long English speaker and oh. not good at English, how to give out suggestion uh, the, to about English writing, writing. About writing. right? Like, uh, writing in English. Uh, writing, uh, he's uh, learning Chinese. I oh, think, okay. Uh, Chinese okay. as well. So you, you want him to write in Chinese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so Chinese uh, writing skills. And um, my experience is, uh, don't you dare write Chinese. As kids, you always do the things you tell him not to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when my, my daughter was young, was, don't you dare to eat this, okay, then she will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Um, over there, I can see there's, a, yeah, you, yeah, the gentleman, yeah, yeah, the young man. Um, yes. Now, this time, uh, I will ask about the idea of the story, so. Um, yes, thank you. So, Okay, uh, and I will ask about the idea of the story. So when you construct a story, do your idea pop up first when you observe the surrounding and look for the idea, or they are kind of like a, um, it just changes over time, or you just um, go with the flow of your feeling? Is it, uh, like, what's, what's learning in your mind when you construct the idea of the story? Like, it's more like this question. Uh, So it's more about the, how this story come out, right? The first. Yeah, because I, I heard about like uh, there can be like feelings, like I just feel like writing it that way is correct, so I write it that way, or uh, an idea pops up and I look for something to describe it, or I observe something in the environment and then I come up with an idea. Like, uh, which one is uh, your style, or which one is better? I was like, I'm, I don't know. Like how to describe it, but I just want to ask the most progress of, of the so the writing progress. Yeah. 
，是吧？有，<笑>有的时候是这样发现了一个故事，有听人家讲故事。You know, sometimes I heard a gossip among my girlfriends or among friends, or you know, one of my novels is from a, a, a note a, a writing about how this young 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 couple. Split when uh, Berlin Wall came up, and the boy went to uh, East uh, West Berlin, and uh, he uh, was so deeply in love. So he went back. In, uh, after many years, he went back, and uh, bring bringing a girl who looks exactly like uh, his lover, his uh, 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 girlfriend. And uh, Stowe, when he brought him to the East Berlin, and he stole her passport and gave it to the girl he was in love. Then they helped the girl escape the, yeah. So this is a real story. When I read this story, I said, wow, this is uh, such a love. So you know, and uh, so I wrote this uh, 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 novel called uh, um, uh, "The Sojourner," Ji Ju Zhe, based on this story. So this is uh, some, uh, you know, the, the material you I, I happened to, uh, by accident to find to find to to find, and sometimes uh, it's from people's gossip. Sometimes I read uh, like my. Um, um, my uh, novella, "Shei Jia You Nu Shu Zhang Cheng," is about uh, a kidnap a girl. The girl was uh, kidnapped and uh, sold to uh, 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 Gansu Province. Um, I I only read this uh, in Hong Kong magazine. Uh, it says how many uh, women and kids were kidnapped last year uh, in China. So, uh, oh my God! Then, then, then I tried to uh, invent this story. So it's a very, it's a different. Uh, my stories come from different materials and from di different directions. Yeah. So, if you have a book in your hand, and then you suddenly have an idea, then 在新的想法冒出来以后，你会怎么去融合进你原来的原来的手稿里面？就呃，就是呃，要是你有新的想法激发了出来以后，你会选择如何采用它，还是就呃，另起一个新的故事去写它这样？嗯 ，it it it had it it it's depending on 嗯、uh,。How do you feel the original passion and original thoughts behind the story? If you feel strongly, of course you have to uh, uh, put that away, the second thought or whatever. Or if you are not confident about your original uh, uh, idea, then you can work that. You know, you 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 have to choose, right? Yeah. Okay. Some primary sources or uh, rubbish sources 
in your writing experience and um, compare this your like a uh, storytelling spend your writing the stories. So it's uh, how Gurning Lao Shi can just comprise his her own experience into the story writings. Okay. So most of your lovers some have some like the similar, you know, like uh, the same age, same experience, but it's still fictional. Some people might think that's your own. No, maybe, but no. <laughs> Yes, they think that all the experiences is my own, then I'm, I'm, I succeed, right? <laughs> it seems like I uh, lived in so many different lives, so many characters. Yeah. Um, I think the compassion, you know, uh, which uh, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it has compassion in it, but it also has a, uh, according to um, uh, Milan, Kundera, Milan Kundera, is called a cold feeling. Cold feeling. You If you have a gong gan li, writer jiao rong yi dian. Yao gen ta cold feel zhe ge yi zhong gan jue. 对吧？我觉得我就比较有共感力，嗯，呃，就可以就是去站在他的鞋里去 um, uh, walk around with him, you know. So you have to 真正的去跟他共感。Okay, in the back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 How do you select what you, you write or not write? Is that right? And also, how do you maybe produce film? What to produce, what not to produce? Is that your question, right? And what's her plan, next plan to write? It's more about the, the standard of choosing story. Choosing story, mm. yeah? Yeah. Um, when I heard a good story, or when I found a good story, I would let it ferment. Uh, just to be there and um, uh, let myself go back uh, in uh, a period, a period uh, a time, then I will think, is this just story or something beyond just a story? So if I find that, I write. If I cannot, it's just a story. Just a story, there were too many stories out there so I don't think that uh, 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 this world needs one more dramatic story. So, you know, uh, when you read the, all these uh, uh, xi, you know, you can see you can see all these sensational and uh, 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 the, the stories you cannot imagine. You cannot fictionalize. It's more fiction, more like a fiction than fiction itself. So. Uh, 
But when I like this something about this story, it must be something there beyond the story. This is how I select. And the next story, uh, you know, I prepared uh, one story writing, one novel. I well, I would spend 30 years, like Lu Fan Yan said, 40 years. You know, I just, uh, whenever myself is ready, I was began. But when I'm not ready, I'll just let it be a good wine, you know, ferment. Yeah. <laughs> Very good comparison. <laughs> so this this question more about the the film uh, youth uh, Fang Hua, and uh, he asked about uh, how much uh, from your own exper and experience and how do you feel about this um, pr production? Do you feel okay or do you like uh, 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 I like this movie very much. Um, I like the direction too. Um, because before Feng Xiaogang Dao Yan started to make this movie, he he said, I want uh, it to flow. It don't give uh, every, every uh, character big sh close ups. It's just, uh, you know, let it flow. You know, it, it, it's a zhong jing he chang jing tou, um, long shot, and uh, uh, not close up, but zhong jing, you know. Um, it's most of uh, the, 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 his uh, direction. Um, yeah, woman the Jingli is Xiang Xiang. That's why uh, when he asked me a long time ago to write uh, something about uh, Wen Gong Tuan life, it's uh, so, um, so Xian Chen, or you so. Uh, <laughs> but also, is uh, how to write, uh, you know, what's uh, when I didn't uh, think of the story, these two characters, uh, 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 Xiao Man and uh, Liu Feng, these two characters, it's a very common kind of hero, and another is the girl who was These two characters, I, I didn't have any passion to repeat myself. Because of, since the beginning, I wrote uh, 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 Wen Gong Tuan Life. You know? And the uh, 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 they are all about my uh, uh, youth life. Yeah. Um, because of the time, I uh, ask the last three <laughs> three questions. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, five years from that time, uh, Feng Xiaogong asked me to write, uh, uh, you know, this kind of story. She, he wants, really wants to, uh, uh, to, to make a movie. Um, and he told me it's Wang Shu, Feng Xiaogang said, I got so many criticisms about my movie. I really just want to make one and I'll, uh, I'll just close. <laughs> uh, and uh, Wang Shu said, why don't you make a Wen Gong Chuan uh, story? And asked Yan Geling to write it. And then so he really listened to Wang Shu who came to me. And, but the, at that time, I just signed up with one company, the film, uh, a producing company, and the Feng Xiaogang's company doesn't, they, they are in very bad relationship. They, they can't uh, do one movie uh, between 
uh, director and the screenplay writer, I said you, you have to wait until the the contract expires. So he said, okay, I wait. And he waited five years. So it's about ferment time, right? In average. <laughs> You couldn't do it every level 30 years. <laughs> uh, you know, um, when I don't, uh, uh, when I can't find something, you, you can say meaning of it. You know, meaning, if you say, oh, the, the meaning of this story is too, you know, but you can feel this story is not just a story itself. It's uh, something, you know, if without this, I said this is something, without it, you will just make a juice, a juicy story. But with it, you will make it wine. You know, 使这个story产生质的变化,那就是我来决定, okay, I'm ready. Okay, many stories, I let it just be there, and when I have more reading, more life experience, I look, at, look back, I said, okay, I seem to see this, something is looming, you know, something is beyond this story itself, then I let myself start. Okay, so the last one. I have a question. We will say on the internet as the end of last year. Uh, so I think this is a very big advantage of the internet. I think it's a very important advantage. Then I also very much appreciate the fact that I was in the COVID after the choice of going to the island. Then I think in the current situation, the pandemic and especially in the current situation, there are many people who say that 关于相对他们来说是个很艰难的选择然后包括你在说你在创作马格制作城的时候就是去回到澳门去亲身做research so it's uh, more about like uh, when Yan Lao is not in China, how to write about life in China? Mm. Um, when I went to the United States uh, to study, I was already 30 years old, so it was um, a very mature adult. Um, the, I already uh, knew every consequences of all, every uh, decision I made. Um, um, so I think you can take me out of China. You cannot take China out of me. Yes. Uh, um, and also, this is not the China, that not the homeland. Oh, in in my memory, or oh, as I can recognize, um, it's uh, uh, changed so much, uh, especially during the pandemic. Right. So, and with all these uh, high tech uh, uh, technologies that can help me reach to every friend, every dear ones in China to get whatever I want to research on. Yeah. So I uh, don't feel like I am totally isolated from China. No. Yeah. So, Yang you <laughs> some. Uh, of course, uh, I was very moved about uh, the uh, Miladi, the latest uh, novel she wrote, uh, was almost directly 
you know, um, I don't want to say directly uh, about, but based on her own real life. If you change the Mila's name and into Geling or into I or something, you can see her life is really very directly. I, as a poet, I wrote my own autobiographical uh, booklong poem when I was uh, 50 years old. And I think to deal with our own life as a special uh, subject is somehow very difficult. And because we actually may be uh, learning a lot from other side or way of life or stories or something, but all those um, understanding and experience and finally come back to ourselves and open up ourselves layer by layers and deeper and deeper. So somehow very, this is a, to deal with ourselves, our own lives is something very challenging. And that is what I thought uh, the last book she wrote and just published outside of China by herself and during this very difficult time for the Chinese literature today, uh, you know, in China, and somehow is a, a very special thing. Uh, so I don't know if Geling shared this with me or not. It's actually a it's question haunting in my mind for a very long time. Uh, so in this chance, I take uh, your time a little bit to ask uh, well, what she feel about those fictions and this fiction special about herself. I think every writer is writing himself. Every character has a little bit of himself. Right. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you so much, Yao. Thank you. Thank you. Coming to Vancouver.